Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So today is the start of what I'm calling ginormous January, where I not only have extra content as of now, we're doing extra videos forever and a day on my channel, but I also have an exciting lineup of giveaways for you, uh, which are all gonna happen throughout January. So it's gonna start off with this video, which is my sort of walkthrough of my 2019 planner. So if you wanna see how I've set it up and find out more info about the giveaway, then just keep watching. Okay, so most of you are going to know this is my regular Kiki K navy blue planner. Nothing's changed in that respect and a lot of the decoration on the inside is actually the same. But how I'm using my planner pages is a little bit different. So when we open this up, and like, I'm going to walk you through the whole thing and you've probably seen this before but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, so in my little pocket at the front here, I have this little card here. This is a Kiki K um, conversation starter I think they're called. I was given this at the Kiki K head office, um, all of us planner insiders got one from the store um, and I just love it, it just gives me a little bit of a, a little, it just, it's a bit of a flashback I guess and I just really love having it sitting in there, plus the pink with everything else here that's already pink kind of fits. Uh, I have my little washi gang uh, business card that just says I'm a planner girl in a planner world. I have a photo back here which is kind of covered up but I'm, I know that it's there and that's really all I care about. Uh, this is just of Point Turn, which is where my grandparents lived. I just love the contrast in the colours. I've then got a little card here that I got from Endota Spa. I love Endota. I think that's it's my favourite place to go when I need to relax. And I just love this little quote that just says, You are not a drop in the ocean, you're an entire ocean in a drop. And I just love it. And then I've got this little tag that I made uh, using the In Bloom kit from Planners Anonymous. I just think it's amazingly cute. Um, and this is just a tassel that I made using string. Nothing too exciting there. Um, and then I have a little shaker here with Follow Your Dreams. This is from the Free Spirit Kit from Planners Anonymous. Same thing with the little feather that's there. The star is from Lime and Mortar. It was from their Galaxy Dreams Kit. Uh, Mystery Lime Mail, sorry. And I just love having it there. I've got some post-it notes in there just in case I need them. And then in the back here, or in the, po in the secretarial pocket, I've got my little washi pouch that Desley made for me. I love this. And again, it's kind of taken on a bit of a pink theme in here, so I've kind of just gone with it. Um, and then I keep in here a perpetual calendar that's got everybody in my family's birthdays in them so that I can sort of go through my planner when I get new planner pages and put in people's birthdays as they come. So my actual dashboard is exactly the same. This is using stuff from the Kayser Craft Stargazer collection. I have another quote there from Endota. And then I have my little manifesto that I still adore and it still makes me very happy whenever I see it. Uh, so it's got that on that side and then on this side it's just got some decoration. This is the first time you guys are going to see properly my new dividers which is really how this all sort of came about. So these are from May Paper Co and they are the navy blue ones and these are 13 tabbed ones. Yes, 13. That's not weird. I'll explain why I got 13 in a second. Um, so I'm just going to flip to this and then we'll come back in a second so so you can get a good look at the divider they are plastic they are slightly opaque and they're very much like the or they're exactly the same but different color as the ones I used in my Kiki K B6 one but these are navy blue which obviously fits into this into my kind of planner a little bit better I say mine you know what I mean the one that I carry around all the time uh, as with the um, one out of the B6. They do have gloss and matte. I have made it on the matte side just because I prefer that. And then I have got these little tabs that have been made by Luscious Labels. They are using their clear plastic. You can sort of still see them but I think it gives a really cool effect. And I've got it with the holographic sort of foiling on it. And that's got January through December. There is a tab at the back and that's because I always have a couple of extra sheets at the end that don't fit. So it's already got me set up for next year and it's also got just another place I can put notes and everything. Now the reason that this works and I can use these tabs is because the absolutely fantastic Julia from Aussie Planner Chick, who's made my inserts for the last two or three years, um, when we went down, like sat down to organize this year's, I just asked her if she could change it up a little bit. And I'll show you with February because it's gonna make more sense. Um, and then I'll show you sort of how I've set up January. So at the start of each month, it has a blank dot grid and then it moves into the most 
obvious place that the month starts. So if you keep going through here, so February technically in here starts on the 4th, but you do have the 1st, 2nd and 3rd in here as well. So you just kind of, you break it up into months. Because I haven't been using my monthly inserts, this was a way to kind of put it at the start and have it be more accessible to me because I tend to forget that they're there. So when you go into February, you start on the 4th and then it ends, I'll show you where it ends. So it's gonna end on the 3rd of March. So then you've got a couple of blank pages at the back and then it goes straight into the 4th. What I'm gonna use those pages for is going to differ every month. But to show you how I've set up January, I've got this little kind of month at a glance kind of thing. So I can see all the things that are gonna happen. I've got a little to-do list. I've got some goals for the month and then I've got birthdays. So it's a really quick, have a look, I know what I'm doing and then I can kind of continue on to everything else. It, I haven't tried it yet, I don't know if it's going to work, but at this point, it seems really logical to me and I'm really looking forward to giving it a shot. The other cool thing that this allows me to do is kind of memory keep a little bit more, which is not something that I've, something that I've meant to do for a while but kind of haven't got round to. So this is what I've done to, like, to finish off 2018. So I've got some photos in here and just some bits and pieces that I've kind of all put together. Um, there's a couple of, like I've got the little receipt from when we went to uh, Sovereign Hill. I've got photos in here with stickers and all these other bits and pieces, which it's just there to look back. But each month I'm going to do that at the back end of this. So this one will be like the memory page for the month. I also got a sprocket for Christmas. So that's where all these photos have come from. And I'm going to make sure I use more photos in that as well. And I will be doing a review on the sprocket next week. So if you're interested in the sprocket, uh, stay tuned because that'll be coming up for you really soon. Uh, other than that, it hasn't changed too much other than those sort of bits. I do have my little backing one here that's still got um, something from the absolutely gorgeous uh, Seaside Kit from Planners Anonymous. I will be changing that up a little bit during the year. I've got my little pocket here with my stickers that travel with me. And then at the back, I switched in a Whistle and Birch notepad just to sort of have if I have a day where I've got everything going on, I have like a goals thing just for the day. And I really like this one. It's been one that I've had and haven't used. So I'm really looking forward to using that. So that is kind of how I've set myself up for 2019. It is something different. It's something I've never tried before, but I did really enjoy this sort of setup for my monthly plans at the end of last year. So I'm hoping that I can sort of make this work a little bit better for myself. I think having just one page is gonna focus me a little bit more. And obviously these aren't every little to do, these are just the things I need to do that are sort of more than once, if that makes any sense. So fingers crossed that all works. Let me know if you want updates on if it is. I can definitely show you guys stuff with my memory keeping if that's something you're interested in. So let me know down below. But as I alluded to at the start, this is ginormous January. And ginormous January means that not only are we doing extra content from January, but also from now on. So there's gonna be three videos a week plus my weekly decoration. But every week in January, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I know it's been a while since I've done one. So I really wanted to do something for you guys to start off the year. So the first one is I'm giving away a $50 voucher to May Paper Co, who made my absolutely gorgeous dividers. That allows you to pick which ones you want, pick the style, pick the color. Do you want top? Do you want side? Do you want 13, 12, 6? Whatever you like, they're fully customizable and you and May can work together to make sure that you get exactly what you want. So the way that you enter this competition is by leaving me a comment down below. It can say anything you like, but then you also need to be following both myself and May Paper Co over on Instagram. So I will check, I'll draw a random winner from here and then I'll check if you're following me on Instagram and if you're following May, and then I'll announce the winner. I'm gonna draw the winner at 10 a.m. on the 10th of January and I'm gonna announce it on the 11th. So I'll do that on Instagram but I'll also put up a post on Facebook and put it basically everywhere. Some, everyone will know. Um, and then you've got until the end of the month to claim it. Um, I will put terms and conditions down below. It is open internationally because it's a voucher. Obviously that means it's a bit more accessible to everybody. So I hope you guys enjoy that first giveaway. Like I said, there's gonna be a giveaway every single week. So if that doesn't appeal to you, there will be something else along the way that I'm sure it will. I'm really excited to do this extra sort of special month of giveaways for you guys. And I'm really thankful to all of those stores and suppliers that are jumping on board with me for ginormous January. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know how you set your planner up for 2019. Have you changed anything or are you still going along in the same way you did last year? Let me know down below or on any of my social medias. Don't forget to be subscribed and to give this video a thumbs up. Other than that, I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day and I will see you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.